What's up everybody, my name is Mr. M, and today's video is going to be the records that got me into death metal. And the first guy who did this was a guy named Eli, whose YouTube channel name is Dark Hymns from the Cold North. I'll be sure to link his channel in the description below so you can see his list, and you can see all of his other videos, because he's a great dude, he puts out great content. And ever since he started doing it, ever since he did it, um, a whole load of other YouTubers have been doing it as well, and since I like hearing people talk about music, and I like talking about music, I figured I'd make one as well. And so I got 10 CDs here. I don't know if I'll do a part two, since everyone's been doing 20, um, 20 albums that got them into death metal, but I got 10 here, may or may not do a part two. Um, I tried my best to put these in chronological order, um, which didn't really work out too well. Um, the first few CDs I got in chronological order, but the ones after that, when I started listening to death metal more and started hearing more bands, um, I wasn't able to really put them in a chronological order because of that. And so this first one I got is The Faceless, Planetary Duality, which was the first death metal band that I really got into, and this was the first death metal record that I really got into. The song The Xeno Christ, which is the fifth song, was an incredibly popular song among everyone, pretty much, who heard it. And this record in particular is more of a technical death metal with some deathcore influences I guess but it's definitely not a deathcore record at least I wouldn't consider it a deathcore record but that was the band that really started it all and from there that was how the rest of this ended up here so the next one I got is Amana Marth with Surter Rising and this one this was the first Amana Marth CD that I bought and the thing with this one is it comes with the CD, Surter Rising, and the DVD, Bloodshed over Bachum, or Bachum in Germany. And on the DVD, they play their first four records in their entirety. And I think I've watched the DVD before I even listened to the CD. So the, that probably made, that means the first Mono Marth record I heard was a live version of Once Sent from the Golden Hall. I don't know if this was just a first issue kind of thing, or if they still do put out the DVD with the CD, but yeah, so basically this was their ninth record, so we got Surter Rising and then their first four records in its entirety. And I got it for like 15 bucks, which is pretty good too. Now the next one is this. Metal Blade Records 30th Anniversary Sampler CD. This was a 2012 Record Store Day exclusive. And it's got the old school Axe logo on the back. It's a two CD sampler with 30 bands that were signed to Metal Blade Records at the time of 2012, at the time of this release in April. And it's got a whole load of bands, not just death metal, but heavy metal, metalcore, deathcore, all sorts of shit. You got Campbell Corpse, Job for a Cowboy, Goat Whore, Amon Marth, Armored Saint, As I Lay Dying, White Chapel, and a whole load of other bands, as you can see right there. And this is what really put me into death metal. I put... I ended up buying a bunch of records off because of this sampler, which I'm not going to show all of them. I'm not going to show most of them because they weren't all death metal. But one of the ones that was on there was Cannibal Corpse, Torture, which was the first song on the first CD. And this record had just come out about a month before that sampler was released. And... This was my introduction to Cannibal Corpse, and they ended up re pretty much replacing The Faceless as my favorite death metal band. And 
after I found out about Cannibal Corpse, I was pretty much listening to them incessantly. I ended up buying all their records within the next couple of years. Um, and I bought it at a local record store. And they had a box set which came with this guy right here who is on the album cover. As you guys saw. Which I thought was pretty cool. And I definitely couldn't pass that up. Now the other CD that I'm going to show that I got because of that sampler is Job for a Cowboy de with Demonocracy. Um, the song that was on there was Nourishment Through Bloodshed, which is still my favorite Job for a Cowboy song. And these guys are a pretty technical death metal band as well. And... I don't know, there's not much to say about this other than it's just a phenomenal technical death metal record. Now the next two that I have, I don't really have stories behind them. And this is where, chronologically, I couldn't remember which I heard first. So first we got Individual Thought Patterns by Death. Um, I don't even know how I came across this record. I. I think I just found it at a record store, and I thought it was cool that there was a band that was actually called Death. And to me, it's one of their best records, not to say, although Death does have, I think all of Death's records are pretty good, but this one is my favorite. Usually the first records you end up hearing are the ones that stick with you, which I'm sure you probably noticed that everything so far and until the end of this video is going to be the first records that I ended up hearing by this bit by the bands Next we got mortification with post momentary affliction Mortification in general is a band that I don't really hear people talk about a whole lot Or maybe people are and I'm just not watching the right videos My dad actually got this for me out of a used bin in a record store their fourth record, and still not a whole lot to say, but fucking phenomenal nonetheless. Next, we got Behemoth with Evangelion. Obviously, most people know, or should know anyway, that Behemoth was a black metal band. They started out as a black metal band. And a lot of people will say that this is a blackened death metal, but I feel like it's a straight-up death metal record, irregardless of what people say. And now, this next one, I'm sure might throw some of you off. History Repeats by Dying Fetus. And the reason I think this will throw most of you off is because this is primarily a covers record. There's seven songs on it, and every single one of them is a cover, except for one of them. And the reason I put this on the list, despite it being a covers record, is it was my introduction to Dying Fetus. I got this shortly after... Fuck, I think it was Reign Supreme. That was the record that followed this one. And this pretty much just introduced me to Dying Fetus. And... I think what, what actually drew me to this was the last song on there was, is a Cannibal Corpse cover. And at the time I really was into Cannibal Corpse and I was listening to it a whole load, as I already said. Now this last record I got is Six Feet Under with Unborn. This is my introduction to Six Feet Under. Um, I found out this band a couple years later after my initial getting into death metal. And the thing I didn't know about Six Feet Under was that Chris Barnes was previously in Cannibal Corpse. Because I hadn't known about that yet despite the fact that I was listening to a load of their stuff. And The Bleeding is my favorite Cannibal Corpse record. And it's not in this video because it wasn't the first one and it wasn't my introduction into death metal. But the first song on here, Neuroosmosis, 
um, that really set a pace for a good record. Um, I know a whole load of their earlier stuff was a lot better, such as Haunted and a couple of other records, but that was the first one I listened to, and I still fucking love it, despite the fact that Chris Barnes' voice had pretty much already started going downhill by the point that that record was released. So, I think that might have actually been 11, maybe. Oh, well. Um, like I said earlier, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a, another video on this. I Thrash metal and black metal are the sub-genres of metal that I really enjoy the most. But, death metal still is fucking amazing nonetheless. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out Eli's channel and to check out all the other videos that have the top 20 albums that got them into death metal as well because I've seen all of them or most of them anyway and all the dudes are pretty cool. All the dudes are amazing to put out great content. So make sure you check everyone else out as well and I will see you in the next video.